Oh. Oh, I gotta keep tapping it. Oh, I didn't realize I was tapping. Oh yeah. Hello everybody. I am freaking adorable, just like this kitten. Look at that cute kitten. You wanna pet it? You know you do. You wanna stroke it and love it and kiss it? Okay. This is the golden butterfly murder case. He says he thinks he knows where and it's you got at. To this one? So, let's go. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Rinders. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. And I thought this was such a nice area. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the... Uh, Detective, uh, I was first on scene. Hi. I'll bet. interrupt my monologue, are you? Come no, on. you don't allow me to talk. Good. It doesn't seem like any of these cases are connected to the Black Dahlia because I'm finding evidence in the person's house. Like the wrench that was covered in blood. You know, stuff like that. This size 9 shoe, which would have been there if the game didn't throw him into the apartment and set me on a chase scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. All right. I'll follow you. Can't uh, be much help to you, Phelps. Um. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Here she is. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. That's no good for us. I've been cutting those out, but sometimes I think I'm not going to be able to avoid it. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. All right. And then money. How much money she got? If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Because the motive wasn't robbery, dumbass. Some detective you are. Holy crap! Ding, 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 ding. ding. All right, buddy. Hey, what you Similar got? Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Thanks very much for your help. All right, yeah, I'm just leaning over this body real quick. Missing a ring like the last one? Sure is. This mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Does it need to be violently removed? Did it? 
Okay, yeah, I know she was stomped. I just, is that it? Okay, thanks for that. Nothing on there. Oh, there we go. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could see that. Sure. And her face. Oh no, her face. Phelps. Phelps. Her face, dude. The thing you always grab and look at for too long. Yeah, the face. Thank you. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Hmm. Well, what about... I mean, she was whacked on the side of her face and head area before. Why didn't she have a mark there? That would have left something bruising her. Blood Detective, or something. Arnai says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <laughs> Alright. So in murder mysteries, it's always the person you least suspect that is the killer. Let's say the Black Dahlia is still out there, right? The killer. Still roaming free. The person that I constantly run into that would be least suspected would be the coroner himself. How bad is it? So let's oh, see if that's me. the case. Also, you I'm stealing this person's car. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. Uh, I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Good partner. Well, of residence, 11.26 a.m. All right, check it on the outside. Here we go. Let's go in since there's nothing outside. I guess knocking on the door first is probably good. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Yeah, we're just going to take a look around your house. Back then, we didn't need warrants. We're going to have a look around. Oh, the bowl of fruit, Phelps. That's probably got evidence in it. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. There we go. What we got air? Work boots. Size eights. Yep. Does it matter which one I pick up? It sure does not. It's the first time I could pick up two things and both of them would have given me something. Ooh. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Yeah, probably, but it may not be. No sign of a wedding ring. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to uh, have to tell you this, Michelle, but... Your mother is dead. <laughs> At least he broke it gentle. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? After you told her that? Probably Try. not. Well, that was very little crying for your mother. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Hmm. I'll view my notebook. 
All right. I was checking the guide. Apparently, I asked it in the wrong order. Doesn't matter. This is doubt. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. Hmm. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Mm -hmm. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. So I don't pay much attention to that stuff. Oh yeah, here's the make. Here's the designation of the model. Here's the colors. <laughs> no, but I don't pay much attention to that Your stuff. Mom and dad are uh, happily married. What are you saying? Of course they are. Mm, doubt it. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have I'll some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, well, anyway... What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Okay, you're definitely lying about that. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I don't know. I, you clearly have size 8 boots. That's funny. Jeez. The work boots we found here are size 8s. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> in that case, I wear size 12s. I really do. All right. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Hmm. See, I would have said truth, but the guy is telling me doubt. Did that. your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You're suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? <laughs> So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit! It is true, Hugo. Liar! You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. 
Then why did you do this? I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Let me just blindly cross the street to say hi. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. No shooting. Wait a minute. How do I tackle? I can't see. I can't. What the hell was that about? Oh, the guy gets a boost? Bullshit. And he didn't jump over the thing. Really. Oh, come on. Like, this guy's a fucking track star jumping over a seven-foot wall or whatever. Where's he at? Enough running, Hugo! Hands where we can see them. Yeah, I tried tackling them. Didn't do a damn thing. This doesn't look good, Hugo. Hmm. I, I can explain the blood. Get him I'm booked sure. in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... It's a woman. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Yeah, let me use your phone real quick, Michelle. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Yay. Got it, KGPL. And go. And where the hell? Partner, where the frick did you go, dude? I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate <laughs> it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, uh, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. We get into Doesn't matter if they're guilty or not, but yeah. 
Central Morgue, 333 p.m. Come on, faster. Get inside. Oh, you're the killer. You did it. You did it. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. All right. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Well, that was, uh, was quick. Yeah, phone. All right. Operator, message for KGPL. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks for your help. Yay. Ah, see, that's why I checked the guide. I'm not done here. He may have crossed it out, but I wasn't done. God, these people. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. A little too convenient, if you ask me. We've got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Is that it? I keep getting older and they stay Not exactly the, the happiest just place in the corner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The corners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Nice. Belmont High School, 5.33 p.m. This is the car? Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. Hey, you! Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Yeah. Oh, Phelps, keep running, buddy. No hurdles. That'll slow you down. Whew. Wow. I'm like booking it. That guy's running real slow, and yet I cannot catch up. Oh, sorry. Sorry, trash can. Oh, man. I was hoping they were going to hit him for me. Be careful. He looks dangerous. I mean, he looks like a guy running away. I don't know about dangerous. Come on, tackle him. Oh. Oh, I gotta keep tapping it? Oh, I didn't realize I was tapping. Give him one for me. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Finally tackled somebody. Mm.
Achievement unlocked. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> That's the correct response. <laughs> oh, look, You're under arrest, there. Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Hmm. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Hmm. I was okay with Rusty's idea. All right. Yeah, bloody rope. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Hmm. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Are we currently looking at a Chrysler? Nothing else? That's it? It doesn't look like a Chrysler, but I don't know. I don't know 1940s cars. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go call Central. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. Hmm. All right, off to do two interviews now. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. All right, well, whether we want to convict the murderer or convict the kid diddler. I would go with the kid diddler. I mean, like, getting rid of him. I love that I can solve a murder case in one day. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. All right, he will do. Where's number one? Boys, you've really hey. come... Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Okay. Good to know. So maybe like I should find him off. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. Okay. <laughs> You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? Do you think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. Yeah, I'll shoot him. Give me a gun. All right. 
Mm, place for employment. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Ooh. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. So, the overalls could be his. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Hmm. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid. You tie a hitch and braid, it stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and <clears throat> stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Mm -hmm. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Right. My money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Oh, uh, where's interrogation to it? Oh, okay, you're leading the way. Aren't you? I say we bust in there and find the oh, guy. That, is, that is far away. Okay. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's a rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought them in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Hmm. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. 
Okay. I mean, I definitely found a tire iron, but yeah, no, no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. I still want to charge the other guy, the, the diddler. About all I'm gonna say. Yep. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You don't want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy. You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Hmm. Ah, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Yeah, we do. Ooh, what's next? Oh, this, yeah, all right. Flashback first. Belt! We captured two regular armies! Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. Not to got the no Kai so to. See that, boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Silk Stocking Murder. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Hey. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! <laughs> the DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. All right. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't get to see the murder this time. Kind of sad. Uh, Alright, might have been a weird cut there, but that's because I accidentally continued with this case for another few minutes, only to realize I'm not doing two cases, I'm doing one. Yeah, so I forgot the outro, so thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. Go ahead and, uh, oh, I forgot. Here is that fluffy kitten, a kissable, huggable, lovable kitten. Okay, love you, bye.